You wonder how I get this on? That's exactly why. Cheers. this dip mm-hmm it's football season you need dips to watch the game with what you need with the dip chills let me show y'all how to make this easy dip it's plop it all together put it in the oven wait dish it up and you can use it for other fillings other sandwiches it's versatile but i'm gonna use it for the friday saturday thursday tuesday monday and sunday night football games is there any day that football isn't on i'm starting to notice a trend about myself <laughs> the ingredients are like eight and below if that maybe even five and below excluding the seasonings but other than that yeah so to make this buffalo chicken dip you're going to want a skinless, boneless chicken. I usually like to do the breast, but if somebody prefers other cuts of meats that are chicken, just make sure that it's boneless and it's skinless. Some cream cheese. Some pepper jack cheese, because what are you doing when you're having a dip and you don't have pepper jack cheese? Like, this is normally what I would say you need this for, but I would say like a Monterey Jack may be good too, but I just know this is the foolproof situation. Hot sauce. I need to re-up on some, but what tell you? Crystal, what do you think? Mm-hmm. And of course, tortilla chips we're gonna season the chicken right we're gonna let it cook then we're gonna incorporate everything else let that melt shred serve that's simple i promise you it is just watch Now, hold on. Wow, look at that. Let me go add some Colby Jack. Cause why not? You know why not? Some softened cream cheese. This sat out for about a half an hour or so. Uh, 
And I put this on like 17 minutes so that way it can cook while everything else is melting. There's that. Come on. There we go. Just depending on your heat level too. Keep in mind how big your chicken is, the cut and everything else. I'm only doing I think a half a cup. I cook so much that it's faded, so I can't really tell, but come on, you can do it. Let's go. And now that I think about it with the cheese sprinkle on and whatnot, you know, just do that real quick. So it covers, I may add some more later on, of course. Just a side note too, um, also used for garnish if you'd like, since I'm using it, it's going to be jalapeno and red onion. See, they got to open in here, but it open in here. Like what? All right. I did that to a certain age where I just, I don't fight with the packaging no more. Where the damn scissors at? You know what I mean? Golly. Anyway. Again. Cheese falling and whatnot. Just eyeball it. We're just gonna eyeball the situation. Okay. And this is all gonna melt anyway. I'm gonna put two slices because I love pepper jack in this dip. Now, I have noticed I became a cheese person over time. See, this is the thing that goes on in my head when I think about stuff. I want to shred it with the least amount of force possible, right? So let me see if this works. Nope, not really. Fail, okay. See, I'm trying stuff new with you. I don't care. Okay, I think it's time to shred and mix, y'all. Shred and mix. And then I will be able to tell by the color if I need more hot sauce or not. So it's on deck right here just in case. Now what can I shred this with? May have to be the fork method. This is going to take a minute y'all so I'll be right back. Alright I got it mostly shredded so I do a stir. And then back into the oven one more time just depending on how the color looks because you want like a orangey type of tint so you can tell that it is cheesy but not so much hot it's getting there like this is the one that you gotta like eye pretty much a little bit no, you don't have to use the cooking thing that I have. I just like mine spread out for even cooking like this. I'm going to add a little bit more, just a little bit more hot sauce. And then you'll see it change a little bit to the orange color that I'm talking about. See that? Now we cook it with some grease. Return of the snack. Eat it. Return of the snack. Come on. Return of the snack. Oh my God. 
As y'all can see, I got the dip on the side. Side note, if you want restaurant style, like warm type of chips, just put the tortilla chips in the oven for a few minutes. Not too much. You don't even have to put it on 350. Maybe like 200 or something. Just enough for them to crisp through. The only reason why I'm not showing y'all <laughs> is because I'm going to let the dip chill out for a couple hours before the game comes on. But let me actually dig in and do like a little sample situation. Let's do a corner. No. Nothing too major. Mm hmm. That don't make no s that don't make no sense, y'all. It just don't. You wonder how I get this arm? That's exactly why. That right there. Insane. And the red hot, just a pro tip, the red hot hot sauce would overbear it. I had to use dang near all of the Cristal bottles. But mind you, that I didn't mind because it gives it not like an overbearing hot sauce taste. It doesn't give too much of a vinegary taste. I added a little bit more Colby Jack cheese, all the cheeses actually, the cream cheese and pepper jack cheese. Put it back in for about eight minutes, restart it, and that's what it looks like now. Oh my goodness and i'm gonna top it off with some red onion and just jalapeno for garnish you know make it a little fancy and whatnot you know because that dip right there would cost you about 17 18 possibly 22 dollars at the restaurant and you just made hotel grade a whole chicken dip at home with the stuff that was in your fridge, with the hot sauce that you had in your cabinet or the fridge, depending on who you talk to. Yeah. Anyway, game night about to be lit over here. Okay? Big back in all football season 2024, 2025. <laughs> it's fine. I know that about myself. I know that about myself, and that's okay. Let me know if you try it though. Let me know if you make it. What other things you put in it. What other cheese makes it pop out to you. But yeah, that's that one. That's going in the cookbook. Yeah.